Welcome back. Another uh, review. Um, a beer I got out of Little the other day. Um, like I said before, they were uh, sent a lot of uh, Belgian beers. And I saw this one, Waterloo. It was a four pack. And it's eight forty nine, I think, for this one. Uh, I've had this before. I've had this in Brussels. Uh, ordered in the cafe and Waterloo's glass isn't one of these type of glasses. It's a stone it's like a stoneware goblet which is pretty cool and actually it's actually it's on the back of the bottle here um, yeah so they serve it in this, this stoneware goblet and you can see in the picture there um, I don't remember what it tastes like I think um, with that cafe let's try to drink the menu I don't remember shit really, but this is a triple blonde, eight percent. Um, jeez, I can't. The, the writing is so small in here. Mont Saint Jean. I guess that's. The, I don't know if that's the brewery or what it is. Anyways, it's got the uh, typical uh, Belgian ingredients, uh, water, barley malt, sugar, hops, yeast, and spices in it. So it's just a spicy triple. Yeah, Firm, Firm and Mont Saint Jean, Saint Jean. I guess that's the brewery. Uh, I didn't look it up on the internet. Anyways, let's, let's open it up, take a look at it. Now, this is the last of the four pack. I already, yesterday I drank three of them just to uh, <laughs> see if I remember what it tasted like. It was good. I liked it. Uh, does it remind me of a Trappist of a Westmala? Um, I don't think so. Not really. I think it's its own taste. There's a bit of sediment in the bottle. There's a bit of yeast there. So you want to get that in there. Got a, a golden, hazy, a gold honey color there. Medium to big bubbles. Um, I get this, a spicy smell. Um, nothing malty or hoppy on its smell, but you, 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 you would know it was a Belgian style beer just from the smell of it. So, uh, all right, we're going to try to go in. The head doesn't really look that good. It's like a big dishwater looking head. Not the best looking head for a beer so usually a West Mile is a bit more more frothy more creamy than than this and I wouldn't I don't know why I'm trying to compare it to a West Mile triple because I don't know I just West Mile is so much better okay folks if I can get a little bit more of the yeast in there yeah, there we go got some more of the yeast it's like dealing with a Guinness <laughs> you have to be patient with it Okay, that's it. I get coriander straight off. It's like when you drink a laugh, you get that coriander flavor, like that orange peel, it's like a wit. But it's not, there's no wheat in this. It's a bit tart. It's not sweet. It's dry. Um, it's all right. It's all right. Um, 
you get the hop taste in the end that kind of uh, astringent taste that goes dry uh, but you do get a big spicy flavor it's a little bit of warmth at the end of it and candy sugar wise you get a bit of taste of it but it's not overwhelming medium body a lot of carbonation the spice of your coriander I get the hop hop taste and a little bit tart and it's dry it's not something I'll buy again um, I bought it because I know I had it before and I forgot about it but now I won't, I won't bother buying it again it's all right I'd give it a three out of five but there's better Belgian ales out there triple blondes you know uh, especially your Trappist ones. Okay, folks, that's my uh, thoughts on Waterloo. If you want to taste it, Lido has it for uh, eight forty nine for a four pack. Holy moly! <laughs>